What's going on everybody? Welcome to episode 13 of Can It Drift and in this episode of Sid we are rocking with the Volvo 242D and this is a beast. I wanted to do this car because I used it a lot when I'm trying to go for my world record attempt of getting the most rep possible and I found that this car could drift while I had my race build on it so I thought why not try putting a drift build on it and see what we can do with it. So if you guys are excited for this video, please do me a favor and leave a like on it. With that said, we are going to hop right into the performance. So right off the bat, ultimate plus everything. Now the turbo, we are rocking with the dual turbo charger this time. This one seemed to just feel a little bit better on the car, so we're going to leave it with that. Now for the engine, there are two options you can use. You can either use the 3.8 liter V8 or the 3.8 liter V6. I chose to use the 3.8 liter V6. Now, that was just a little bit of a decision to make because of the power that the engine actually puts out. It's a little bit more, and I just thought that that would be a little bit better for it. So, with that said, engine is done. Now, going over to the suspension, we are using the Showcase suspension. It is the Super Variant, and I'm going to get into the tires in a bit because again, like I found with the last episode, this setup seems to work well with specific types of cars, so I'll explain it more in, in just a second. So the brakes, leave in stock as always, the tires I'll get to, the clutch, always throw it up as high as you can, Elite Plus, you already know how it is. For the gearbox, we are rocking with the 4-speed because all the other ones just throw down the stats, so might as well get the 4-speed in there. And also you just get a little bit more out of those early gears with the speed boost so it just helps you out in your drift now differential we're rocking with the showcase differential again super all the way now back to the tires so you guys can already see what the type of tire is but the elite drag tires were it allowed me to drive get a lot of points but still control the drift very well so something with this setup with the showcase suspension and the showcase differential with drag tires seems to really just kind of make the car feel easy and smooth so that's basically what I'm trying to bring you guys with this series just finding the best way we can make a car drift with any car in the game so if you guys want to see a car that hasn't been on the series already let me know down in the comment section below what car you would like to see next I most of the time select cars from the comments this one I decided to do by myself just because I was interested in seeing it but let me know what car you would like to see down in the comment section and it could be selected for the next episode of Sid. With that said, I'm going to show you guys the live tuning on it and then explain how the car handles and drifts, then go over to some gameplay, leave you guys with some music so you can make your final decisions on can or can it, can it not drift. So, right here, here's my live tuning. I have steering all the way up, the downforce all the way down. So, we're going to go over to the drift track right now and just hop right into the tutorial or just kind of explanation really of how the car actually performs because like I said it is very nice to use so we're gonna go into it as you guys can see you can slide very easily you don't need to use gas to drift although I did for that first corner but this car is surprisingly good at getting a lot of points in the beginning 40,000 points that I just got right there that is the highest amount of points that I've ever gotten with any car on that first turn so already you can see this thing is a point monster and it is super easy to slide I'm not using gas to drift or handbrake at the moment just pulling my left stick over and the car just switches it's very easy to transition with and like I said it is a point monster dude look at that 156,000 so I don't actually have a max points for this car because I just hit it right there and every time I do it it just keeps going up so I'm not really sure how many how much points you can get with this car but every time I go around this first corner it's at least over 30,000 like I just got right there and that's just a testament to how good and easy this car is to use because not a lot of cars can actually hit that number on that first corner and just the transitions and slides are just super super easy to do this, it takes like no effort at all and you can just get these really nice drifts and get a ton of points with it as well so this car is absolutely insane it was one of my favorites to use like I said for my world record attempts but now this I found a drift build for this thing and it's absolutely insane so 
I'm gonna go over and leave you guys with some gameplay and music with the car just kind of so you can make your final decisions on can or can it not drift so I will see you guys in just a second all right really quickly before we get into the drift with this I just want to show you guys something amazing that I found because honestly you guys need to see this okay so I have the full like the the biggest bottle of NOS you can put in this car and if I just like barely start going and then hit NOS this thing wheelies so high up it's insane <laughs> like this car can wheelie is so great oh, I'm gonna show you guys again because it just looks crazy from the back like you can you see the car just fully pick up I tried to show like a side angle right there just to kind of see how high it actually lifts up but when you see it from the back just driving normally like it's in, it's insane all right ready so we're gonna go and then hit this NOS Bro, it gets up there. So I just, I just want to show you guys this quick little snippet. Just, you know, more fun to show what you can do with the car. Because honestly, that that's low-key pretty awesome. That this car can wheelie just... That's the highest wheeling car I've seen in this game. I don't I don't know if there's any other ones. I maybe could go start testing cars if you want to see a Can It Wheelie series. That'd be kind of cool, actually. I, I might do that if you guys want to see that let me know down in the comment section if you would like to see a can it wheelie because that, that might be pretty cool not gonna lie I could try out different cars seeing what we could put on it to make it you know wheelie can it wheelie and see what the best wheelie car is so let me know down in the comment section if you guys would like to see that but anyways enjoy the rest of the gameplay session what you think of this car can or can it not drift in my opinion I think it can drift pretty well but I would like to hear what you guys think down below also let me know what car you would like to see next in the next episode of Sid I am taking suggestions from the comments so with that said check out the videos you see on your screen right right now and I'll catch you guys in the next one have a great day everybody peace